hi everyone in today's class i'll explain the isometric projection of a combination of solid consisting of a square prism of base side 40 mm height 50 mm which is placed centrally on a rectangular slab of 100 mm by 60 mm and thickness 20 mm now to draw the isometric projection of the combination of solid let us start with the base part uh, that is a, a rectangular slab of base dimension 100 mm by 60 mm okay so let us draw a 100 mm line let us use a normal line 100 mm line at an angle of 30 degree uh, next side is 60 mm 60 mm at an angle of 150 degree then next side is going to be 100 mm at an angle of 210 degree then you can close the end so this gives the rectangular base now this is 100 by 60 rectangle isometric view of the 100 by 60 rectangle now you can select this and uh, move a copy of that move a copy of that by the height height is 20 mm so move a copy by a distance 20 mm in the vertical direction so you can use a reference point in this and uh, using the tab key go to the step distance give the step as 20 press enter now you can move upward you will get a step of 20 stop there and uh, you will get a copy of that now right click and terminate the command now you can draw the edges so even this can be shown but it is not visible okay you can show a line like this passing through the midpoint so i need to fix the next solid on the center of this face so you can also draw one more line like this so this will give the center any one line is enough so one line to get the center point is enough now let us construct the square prism square prism is of 40 mm side so let us draw this 40 mm isometric view 40 mm by 30 30 degree and again 40 mm at an angle of 150 degree and again 40 mm at an angle of 210 degree uh, you can close this now so you got the square base now select this and use the move command and uh, taking this as a reference point the height is uh, 50 mm so you have to use a step distance of 50 so in the ribbon bar for the step distance you give 50 and press enter so you are getting a step of 50 so when you move the mouse up you get a step of 50 so mouse temporarily stops there now you can click and get a copy of that now you can right click and terminate this and, and draw the longer edges for of the prism you can also draw a line here at the bottom uh, representing the central line now you can make this a rigid set so select this make that unit a rigid set then you have to use the connect command to connect the this square prism center of the base should be connected to the center here so now you got the combination of solid now you have to show the visible lines so let us move this to the center now let us show the visible lines this part of that is uh, hidden here again this line part of that is hidden so you can either uh, separately you can draw a visible line or you can split that line and change the property of this line to visible line 
I use the split command now select this and split at the intersection select this split at the intersection here and uh, this all lines are visible holding the control key you can select all these lines and change its property to uh, visible We now make all the selected lines uh, to visible lines so that will give the uh, combination of solid now uh, you see this part of the line is not visible so only visible edges I have darkened now you have to scale down this to 0.816 select it use the scale factor 0.816 point eight one six so that will give the isometric projection give any reference point so you have scaled down and uh, this is the isometric projection of the combination of solid so that's all for today thank you for watching